Whoa, where's that at? Somewhere on the internet. We will not wear your underwear, but we will. Yeah, do you know what you're talking nope. about? Nope. That's why I said it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll probably wear your underwear. Is the title uh, n- not the Julia Bryan show? Uh, do we have a Twitter account? Waffle House. Oh, I like Waffle House. All right, cool. That should be good. Um, that should be chill. So, cool. All right, buddy. Here we go. Let's go. Um, welcome back, everybody. Hello. <coughs> Hello, everybody. How's everybody doing? I hope good. How are I'm you doing guys? Good. Huh? Hi, guys. What's up? Can you see us? Can you? Cause hey, check this out. We got the best little podcast pup here, too. Oh, shit. Look at her. She's dope. Did you guys see her? Yeah. And so, if look, if... Who's got a podcast? Um, or a podcast. He's got a bottle opener on his head. Wow, this one's going to be yeah. rough today. Okay. I don't think it will. I'm excited so, about it. So, we're, we're doing a little experiment. Um, we're doing some face capture along with the audio. Uh-huh. So, you can kind of see what's going on with us. Um, we're eventually going to be putting this on... Brian's drinking a beer, and people can probably see him. But we will now. be putting this on uh, like iTunes and Google Play and stuff. So uh-huh. unfortunately, you won't be able to see us. Yeah. So we'll try to. If we do visual jokes, we'll make sure that you don't know we're doing them. Yeah. <laughs> so so that you don't. So we'll try to keep. Like when I bent over and whistled, that was that was my dog, the best little podcast pup, Zeta. So we'll we'll try to keep you who are listening and not watching tuned in as best as we can. Yeah. Um, Huli, yes, I am drinking a beer. I'm going to go ahead and start. Is this going to be reverse? It is going to be reverse, isn't it? Yep. Uh, oh, you drinking... had a meeting with oh Knob Creek? Oh, I did, yeah. So I'm drinking a New Belgium Oak Spire Bourbon Barrel Ale. So what it is is they took their uh, – it's a collaboration they, that New Belgium did with Knob Creek. Um, okay. It's actually really good. So apparently they took like the uh, they scraped the barrel of the Knob Creek and took all the like the char out of it and stuff like that. Yeah. And that's how they fermented the beer with this one. It's actually really good. It's nine percent <laughs> alcohol though, and this glass that you guys can see right here, um, the people that are watching this on YouTube, can fit two beers. So, um, so you got double. So oh, um, that's probably a big beer too. What's the oh, alcohol on that? It's a big bullet. Nine percent. Yeah, so that's what, mm. like a hundred percent with the two beers? Uh, yeah, basically. If I did my math right, um, I think it's eighteen. Yeah, dude, I'm pumped, man. I have stuff to talk about today. Um, nice. Have, I got some stuff to talk about too. We have stuff to talk about from the last podcast. Um, also, Huli, and to the people at home, I'm I'm gonna let you know so I don't sound like I'm such a dick, but um. Yeah, I'm just basically going to stop responding to anything that you say to me in text message that has to do with that or that could do with the podcast because I want my initial reaction to come across like when we're doing this. So that's what's up. Wait, what? I'll I'll get to it. What are you drinking, bro? (laughs) (laughs) I am drinking from Werenbacher. Uh, it's sexy mother pucker. Sexy um, can I just swallow your man? Swallow your man? Is that how that goes? Hey, what are you barking at over there? That's the best little podcast pup in the world. That's the best little podcast pup right there. Mm-hmm. Um, so sexy mother pucker by Warenbacher. It's a sour ale, seven point five percent. Um, it's pretty good. I like it. Um, you don't see a whole lot of good sours that are seven point five percent. Yeah. Um, they're like kind of like on the higher end because sours kind of kind of work better in lower alcohol. Yeah. So when you get a good a good beer that's higher percentage, it's always nice. It's nice. nice. I had a sour today. Actually, it's a sour saison from New Belgium. Have you ever had any other sours? New Belgium, they're very good. Dude, like their sour there. program is off the charts. And um, I mean, for for as high a brewery as they are, you know. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, uh, their sour saison reserve that they have. Whew, Boom, kick ass, dude. Love it. Love it, love it. Um, but yeah. So, Huli, what I was talking about when I was talking about not mentioning anything, you, we were talking about yeah. the last podcast okay. about those ants. The bullet ants? Those bullet ants, dude. Oh my Did god. Did you look them up? Dude, you sent me the video. You don't remember that? 
Oh I'm yeah, like, yeah, I did send you. On the like video. Saturday, yeah, I was busy running around on Saturday, and you sent me the video, and oh my god, dude! Uh, how much pain was he in? Oh fuck that, dude! The dude's running around dancing for like an hour, and it's still the worst pain that that dude has ever felt in his entire life. For those oh, of you yeah. that didn't listen to last week's podcast, we brought up, Huli brought up these, like the the worst. He got this dude got stung by everything. And it was the yeah. worst pain in the world. Like, one to five, you rated everything. This thing was a five. And, oh, my God, after watching the video, it 100% should be a five. Dear oh, God, yeah. dude. He, he, the thing is, like, the, it won't kill you. Like, it's not venomous. or Like, it just, you, you'll want to die. Oh, you will my want God. To die. <clears throat> so, basically, these bull and ants, they're down in, um, just a recap, they're down in South America. Yeah. Um, and there's... Uh, the group of people down there that put gloves on to like become a man and they dance around, they wear them for 10 minutes. That guy wore them. He wore them for like less two than a second. Sec- <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and he put he them on. Like, Fuck that. I'm yeah. Uh, so, so the tribe people community, I don't Just know Just call right them term. a tribe. You did this. In the last <laughs> <time>. <laughs> All right. Listen, I, if you're part of that group. Okay. People, I saw the people and I'm not being racist. Or it's a tribe. Okay. It's a tribe. If you're part of this group of people that puts a bullet ant gloves on your hand, uh, at the Hooli and Brian show on Instagram, yeah, send me a or, direct message. Yeah. Let me know what you like to be called. Or Twitter. Anyways, yeah. What, yeah. I'm Find your, trying, I don't want your hurt nearest Wi Fi. So, I, so this, they don't this, even know that we exist. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the group of people, the tribe, the community, whatever you want to say, they wear these gloves with a bunch of bullet ants in them. They wear them for like 10 minutes and dance around. And they do it's that awful. like. 10 to 20 times before they're considered a man. This dude put them on for like five seconds. I'm, I'm going to pull up the, the link just so everyone else can go watch it. The, the original. We're going to have to put it on the Twitter we're, we're, or something. We're going to have to put it in the Instagram because I'll put it in the Instagram. Yeah. So, so, so that you guys can click it, but I'll, I'll tell you as well, if you we're, don't have, yeah, social. we're working our way at some point, we'll be able to share a screen with you and we'll be able to watch the videos with you. But right now this is baby steps. This, baby this is steps. what we got going on. You know, I mean, next time maybe Huli will have to record his screen, and he can full screen videos and show you, oh, and I can do this, idea. and then we can edit those in whenever we have to. So, so yeah, it's, it's not a bad ha- idea at all, actually. Uh, Hamish and Andy is the channel, and it's called the Worst Pain Known to Man. Yeah. Uh, the original video that I had watched that that's the one of the dude who's like, nope, fuck that. After a second. Yeah. The one that's like actually goes into detail is a net geographics um yeah. video about it. Dude, when Wild yeah. Boys did it, Steve O had it on for he probably had it on for like ten seconds. There was uh Chris Pontius. Was it Pontius that did it? it but Pontius, whoever it yeah. was had it on for like ten seconds. He and he, and he was still so, oh. so they there, there's another video I didn't send you where Pontius goes and chats with those people, the the, the guys who, who put it on for like a second and yeah. died. He, they interviewed him because they were like, oh, yeah, how much did that suck? And he was like, fucking terrible. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, dude. Like, dude, uh, the dude is just shrieking in the video. But anyways, oh that's and why I didn't bring it. Him. That That's why I didn't say anything when you sent it. I was like, I'm saving this for the podcast because I don't want him. I don't want me to send him a text. That's you like, don't want Holy to spoil fuck. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I think that was good. I think I think we'll do that like that. I think that was good. So, yeah. yeah. Um. um so I've got something that I want to share with everyone cool. and you. Brian sent me a virus yesterday. <laughs> oh, don't talk about this. I'm just, bitch, I get points if you join up. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, everyone, listen. You you know how, like, people will send you a link and you click it and then it, like, God sends it, it to everybody? Brian sent me, we were talking <laughs> Do you, do you not want me to talk about it, Brian? I'm drinking my beer. You go ahead. You talk about it. I'm drinking my beer. So so me and Brian are talking yesterday, and we're like, hey, when do, when do you want to record the podcast? And you know things like And then out of nowhere, he's like, hey, uh, you want to have free money? Here's a random link. <laughs> Click it. And I was like, this this sounds like a, like a virus. He's like, did you, get, did you get spammed or is this real, dude? <laughs> All right. It is. It is for real. Real. I mean, I don't know how real for real it is, but um, okay. But yeah, will it benefit you if I click it? Yep. Yep. Well, it will. If you download will the something app, something bad happen to me if I click it. No. 
You just have to have it on. Nah lo- or no? Nah. You just have to have it on location in the background all the time. No big deal. Don't worry about it. <laughs> just drain your battery. So all right, then. Don't worry about it. Um. Okay, so now that we've gotten through that, on our previous podcast, you had talked <laughs> about uh, – you had talked about roasts. Uh, yes. Can we dive back into that a little bit? We can do that. Um, Just so, some things you wanted to say. So I, I was, it, I, I like comedy roasts. I do. I think they're funny. Um, but I, I'm think I'm getting to the point to where when you watch them, um, like especially on Comedy Central because they'll have the, the last one they did was Bruce Willis, and they'll get a bunch of people up there and they'll all make jokes. About half of them are comedians, the other half are not comedians who very obviously have ghost writers and things like yeah. that write their jokes for them. Oh my God! Do you remember? Do you remember when uh, the situation got up for Donald Trump's? <laughs> I do remember, and he said, "Dude, he said, he that was dude, like, I'm going to vote for you if you ever run for president." And then I was like, he ain't ever running for president. <laughs> dude, that dude, president. dude, the situation, like, Bombed. like that that dude came into Rick's one time, and I was just like, fuck this dude, didn't serve him. Really? I yeah, I felt bad wow. for he, dude. He like this is when I people were going around, like all these celebrities were going around that were like reality TV stars, and they were saying that they were super smart, and everyone you was know, believing him for a while. Go ahead. What you know what? They, when when I was at Central, JWoww is she one of them? Uh huh. She did an appearance at one of the bars there too. Okay, no, Anyways. she did. No, she did an appearance. Mike's situation came to Michigan State to talk about like nuclear physics or something like that. Like like he came for like a like he, he came, came for like a pre- to... he came for like a lecture. Okay, because. JWoww or whatever one came. She and came for like a wet t-shirt her. contest or something like that. <laughs> exactly. The bar I mean, paid you know, her to be pro- there. Yeah, probably not okay. that. But it w- was I'm just going that is out not on what the situation. I'm just going out on a limb, limb here, Huli. Was it yeah. the wayside by chance? <laughs> <laughs> it it was the wayside. Okay, yeah. <laughs> and they had like a banner, and you could like. I didn't yeah. go because I don't care, but I saw pictures and everything. But anyway. the wayside with such <laughs> special <laughs> guests as JWoww and Vanilla Ice. <laughs> I saw, I did go see Vanilla Ice. I saw him fucking live. Go Ninja Go, uh, baby. It, it it wasn't bad. Dude. It was like ten bucks to go see him. Like, why wouldn't you? Dude, I well, would pay. But, I'd pay probably twenty to thirty bucks to see Vanilla Ice. He, you paid ten. He so. did. He he did perform Go Ninja Go. Uh-huh. Uh huh. He, he was he was up on the stage and everyone was yelling, "Go Ninja!" And he was like, oh, "Like I was gonna save this for." All right, we'll just do it now. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so the situation was in Rick City, Lansing. Yeah, no, 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 and I just refused to serve him, and he just sat there with his sunglasses the whole time in the corner and just laughing, and dude, it was the dumbest thing, man. I, when I moved out here, I went back for a wedding. When I moved out here to California, I moved back. Okay. Or I went back for our buddy Jeff Jones's wedding. Yeah. And and um, we good. And we're good. Um, when I I went back for his wedding, I remember one of our friends. Um, man, Michigan, Michigan is so race, racist because uh, the dude that is in the story, we called him Nate Asian because <laughs> he was Asian. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, um, he asked me, he was like, oh, dude, so you, how many celebrities have you seen since you've moved out to California? And I was like, well, none. Hey, best dog in the world. Um, it's thundering out right now. Oh, of course it is. Man, we're good at doing these podcasts when it's thundering. Anyways, right. he he asked me how many, whew, how many um, uh, celebrities I've seen since I moved out here, and I was like zero, and still to this day it's zero. I've never <laughs> it's seen been, one. It's been six and a half years since living out here. Um, when I lived there, yeah, uh, we we ran into some of the girls from what was it, the hills or whatever when I worked at Mammoth. I don't remember, but anyways, I mammoth met, is different than where you live. Now. Mammoth is because that's where everybody from LA goes to to go ski and stuff. Yeah, but I um I ran into way more celebrities in Michigan. I ran into Gerard Butler. I ran into um uh, Mike Situation. The dude, this dude from The Bachelor came there. Uh, then there was a dude, uh, Stephen Conrad. No, Stephen whatever from 
Laguna Beach or something like that. He yeah. came to Rick's one time because he had a wedding or something. I don't know. What keeps popping up on your screen? I'm just kidding. I'm not worried about it. On my screen? Like, why am I looking yeah. over here? Well, the Wings game just ended. No, I know. Um, we'll talk about that here in a little bit. Cause, and now it's just God, Grey Goose commercial. Yeah. Grey Goose sent us money. Uh, yeah, and Snickers, please send and us money. Snickers, don't be scared either. Man, I got to slow down on this beer. Um, <laughs> it's a big um, beer. It's a big, big beer, and I'm a third of the way through. Um, but yeah, dude, I just remember like they were like, "Oh, he's he's here to for a for a physicist or something like that, some lecture." I'm like, "That dude is not here for some lecture. There's no way that that dude is here for, for a lecture. lecture. Nobody, dear God, nobody." Anyways, so that's my I hot don't take. I don't even want to see him on TV. I don't either. No, so that's my hot take on him. But yeah. But anyways, what were we talking about? <laughs> Bruce, what? oh, oh, Rose. Rose. Sorry, and sorry, I, I got way sidetracked oh. on that. <clears throat> so, are Comedy Central roast good? <sighs> right, that's a tough. That's a tough, right? I feel like the first couple were like Charlie Sheen, yeah, and there were other guys. Didn't um. Wasn't uh uh what's his face? He was in. It wasn't George Clooney one of them or no? I don't, I don't mm, think he was. I don't know if he was in one, but like. But it was um, like Charlie like Bieber has been in one. Yeah. Charlie Sheen, Flavor Flav. Yeah, Donald Trump. Trump. So and Bruce now, Willis was the most recent one. I think there was but one in um, between Trump and Bruce Willis, and yeah. So, the the thing is like. Let's say the roast is thirty minutes. It is sixty minutes long. Let's say. Yeah. I like about five to ten minutes of the roast is really funny and really good and really original, but but they get really repetitive because like like Martha Stewart's been on a couple roasts. Oh yeah. And like everyone's like Martha Stewart's here. They let you out on house parole or whatever. Yeah. It's like, yeah, we, we, we get it. She's, she's yep. been in jail. And like every single person makes that joke. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, I think Dennis Rodman was on one and like all the jokes were about him in North Korea yeah. and for, for uh, the Bruce, Lindsay, La- Lindsay Lampanelli or something like that. She yep. was on. And then they just talk about how she does black dudes all the time. And, and it's, it, and it's like really funny the yeah. first time they bring it up. And then it's like, after the third person is like, all right, all right we, yeah. we get it. What's his um, face was good. Who passed away. Uh, Greg Gerald. Greg, oh yeah. He, um, I know who you're talking about. Um, he was good, Greg but he Girardi, passed away. Yeah. Yeah. He Greg, was, he was a staple in them. Jeff, uh, Jeff, what's his face? Jeff Ross. Jeff Ross is always on there. He his was good the first pretty couple. Good, like his, yeah. Like, his, his, well, well, that's that's the thing is a lot of times they get reoccurring. Yeah. People and then the jokes are exactly the same every single time. Anthony so, Jaselnex uh, was on one. And he was he was killer. Oh, he's he's brutal. Yeah, I, he was I, amazing I, though. I do I do like his stand up quite a bit. Um, just because he just doesn't care oh no my my favorite all. my favorite bit of his stand-up was like when he talks about his uh um he talks about whenever there's a national disaster like when september 11th happened oh yeah he was like all my friends just text me anthony yeah. don't <laughs> and that's how he knows that something bad just happened yeah. he was like i didn't even know it happened until until they said that so but anyways um but 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 no, I uh, I uh, I was just watching a ro- that Bruce Willis roast, and I was just like, and, and this is old news now. It's been out for a while. They they replay it though, but I feel like they need to switch it up. I don't know. Start doing doing some more stuff. They you think they need to be do more roasts, or you you just think they just need to have more diverse roasts? More diverse roasts. Okay, with, and switch switch the people up. Well, that's I what guess. I mean by diverse. I don't. I don't mean like diverse as in like culturally and no, and no. Stuff. I I knew I knew what you yeah. meant. I, I mean, mean like, like yeah. tribes, communities. You know. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, tribes, communities. You know those things. Uh, no, but I, I get what you're saying. Yeah, they need to get like new comics or whatever. Like they try and do people of the moment. You know, so like yeah, Mike Situation like, was one, and he was popular at the time. Pete Davidson was one, and I thought Pete Davidson was actually pretty good, but. 
I, I, yeah, I see what you're saying. Apparently, they try and someone broke up. Oh yeah, Ari- I mean, Ariana Grande is that Ariana right? Grande. Yeah, yeah. I just I, found out about her the other day that she was a person. It's so funny because I saw a tweet the other day. I was like, I have had, um, I've had water sitting on my nightstand longer than their engagement actually was. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, the thing that's crazy is like. I didn't even know Ariana Grande was even a person for like the longest time. Like, cause I'm like so out of touch on like pop culture and like, yeah, what's popular. So like someone will be like, Oh, did you hear P Davis and Ariana Grande broke up? And I'm yeah. like, wait. And, and like, and most people would be like, who's Pete Davis. <laughs> but I'm like, who's Ariana Grande. <laughs> So like I'm like oh it's just some some lady like okay like I'll Google her real quick and like yeah holy shit she is I, a gigantic star I could I I could not tell you a single thing that she sings or anything like that I have no idea but um so, so something I, similar happened that you you had sent me you had, and uh, if I remember I'll I'll uh, I'll post it in the Instagram. If I can find it, but you sent a uh, 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 Cardi B and her. Uh, so there was a bunch of Star Wars clips with her making noise over the Star Wars clips. Okay. Do you, do you remember this at I all? Don't, this was like a month ago, wasn't it? Or like no, two it months? Was, it was longer than that. Oh, like um, two months been, ago it, or so. It's like huh? two or three months ago, and it was her sound effects over like lightsabers going and like. <laughs> and I was like. I was like, this is really funny. Who's Cardi B? Like, they make (laughs) funny voiceover things. (laughs) And, like, so, like, I Googled Cardi B, and I was like, oh, she's, like, a famous person. Like, a for real famous person. Yeah, but she's, like, she's so annoying, dude. Like, she sucks, man. (laughs) I, once again, couldn't. I she sings stuff. Have no idea that she sings songs. Yeah, she's on like social media all the time. She was honestly one of the reasons where I was like, I I'm getting off social media. I I hate this because she's popping up on everything. Yeah, I but, I really enjoy her vo- Star Wars voiceover though. Yeah, that one was pretty funny. Whoever uh, sometimes the internet is an absolutely wonderful place, and the fact that they did that, like I knew of her and what she did, but I didn't know like what um like what uh uh like what it was that, like i said i didn't know what it was that she did like was about or whatever yeah and yeah it was just i knew she was annoying and it was funny to see someone to be like do that stuff so also this this uh this episode of the podcast is brought to you by the word like we say it a lot and we hate that we do and now that you heard us say it, still that we say it, it a lot i'm trying not to but i'm right, actively we're, trying not to but we're we're working on it we're working yeah. on it we listen to our podcast and we try to we try to get yeah. better. We try so, to get better. It's either brought to you by the word like or the word dude. <laughs> I don't feel bad about saying dude. Um I didn't until I was on family vacation with my girlfriend's parents and my girlfriend's mom called uh, my girlfriend a dude uh, and her dad goes, "Don't call your daughter a dude and don't call me a dude." And talking to the mom and I'm like, "I have called him a dude so many times You're i feel fucked. i feel so <laughs> terrible do, do you think maybe it's just for her though and it's like well you're my wife you no know, i don't want you to no, no man no that dude all does right, not right. He, he does not like being called dude all uh, right. he's cool all as right. shit he's he's super cool but so this podcast is brought to you by the word dude thank you so much dude it is also dude. it is well, also brought to you too. I say man, dude, and like a lot. It is also brought to you by Snickers. Snickers, we are still waiting on that money. I have eaten so many fun sides of you this Halloween. Also, happy Halloween, everybody. Where have we been on that one? So, Halloween is today, let's just say. Today. Yeah. Today. It should be today. It should be today. If you're listening to it right now. Or or yesterday. (laughs) Or last week. We're not sure yet. Depending on when this gets edited. So, hey, the either... goal is for it to be today. Yeah, the goal is for it to be today. And I think if we do stuff like this, it will ha- hold some of us, myself, accountable. <laughs> uh, Br- Brian, so it's today. What's up? What's your favorite Halloween costume you've ever been in? Oh, my favorite one I've ever been in? Yeah. Uh, oh. And fa- favorite costume you've ever had 
uh, kid to, to now? Well, let's go through a couple of them. Um, okay. So when I was a kid, I was Zoro like three years in a row. You know, wow. I was a whitewash Zoro. <laughs> Where, Why did everybody? Think he while, was cool? Did you did you watch the movies or? No, I watched shows, man. Like the nineteen oh, the shows, nineteen okay. fifties yeah. shows or whatever it was. Yeah, what's dude, those always. Name? Um, I remember when I was a kid. What's whose name? The the horse doesn't the horse have a really cool name? His horse. Um, am I mixing shit up? You talking about Dartanian Atreyu? Is that what you're talking about? No, but Atreyu is a. Like, you're talking about guy. yeah? No, no, no. You're talking about. The Lone Ranger. Hi-ho, Silver. That's what you're talking about, right? I was thinking the Lone Ranger. You were thinking the Lone Ranger. Thinking that's the Lone Ranger. Right. That's right. All I right. know what you're thinking of. That, that's T- a thing with me. That's a hey, thing with me. <laughs> it's a thing with both of us. Tip of the cap to you, sir, though, because you're in the right era. So, so you know. They had yeah. horses, right? Um, yeah, they had horses. And um, so what was it? Uh, yeah, so I was, I was Zoro for like three years running. <laughs> um, my mom had to have been pumped that she didn't have to buy a co- new costume right. every year. Um, and then growing up, I don't know. I stopped doing Halloween really early. I stopped doing Halloween when I was like 12. I don't know if that's real early, but for a lot of people that is. There's a lot of people that trick or treat until they're that's pretty early, like into into high school. But I remember I got um, I got really into um, like doing passing out candy and stuff like that. And then I would do stuff like. I would put the candy in a bowl and mm-hmm. I would put the bowl on a table and cut okay. a hole in the bottom of the bowl and put my right. face in the bowl with a mask on okay. so that when kids would go get the candy, I'd be like, ah, and scare them and stuff. And it was, it was, it was fun. So that was, that was, so about 12 uh, is when you quit. About thir- oh. 12, 13, somewhere in there. Yeah. And then when I got into college, I was Lieutenant Dangle, like, I think three times again. I, I spread them apart. <laughs> that's like, th- that's kind of your thing is that it's yeah. very much uh, – you, you find something you like and you stick with it. Yeah, yeah. I spread it apart. I did it, like, one year and then skipped a couple years and then one year. And then one year in college, we went and got garbage containers, like trash okay. cans. Yeah. And you remember this. You, I think you were there for this year. And we spray painted them red. And we went as red solo cups. No, I you weren't. That I was, was not Darren. there. I, I saw pictures and I heard about it. Yeah, we were on bro, bro Bible, baby. We got like we were in top costumes in Bro Bible. We were on the cover page. It was yeah. awesome. Yeah, it was awesome. Claim to fame. All right. So, oh, yeah. what were yours? Um. So as a kid. Yeah. Probably my my aunt made me a really sweet Ninja Turtle costume. I was I already knew it. I I haven't even seen pictures or anything like that. I just knew that it had to have been Ninja Turtles for you. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's dope. She, she she made me an awesome Ninja Turtle costume. Um, if this gets uploaded, if <clears throat> if this gets uploaded tomorrow, I will post the pictures of the Ninja Turtle costume because I'm pretty sure I got them. Um, oh keep going so um but as a kid uh that was probably probably my favorite as a kid um i went as a ghost i think a couple years because like uh, there i go with that like again i um it happens i I, i'm very much when it comes to halloween would get like really sweet ideas Uh, little zoro look at that brian's holding up a picture of zoro it's not him that's not Zorro. Do you know who oh, that wait, is? No. That's a uh, um from Princess Bride. Yeah, I was supposed to go. That's my roommate Paul. For the people that are watching online, my roommate Paul this year is going as um Diego Montoya. D- Domingo? Manny Patinkas. Dan Tigo. Dan Tigo Montoya. It's like Manny Indigo. Patinkas. Danny Patinkas. Anyways, and I was supposed to go well, that's, as that's the actor, Andre the Giant. But, uh, oh, that would have been cool. I, I mean, know, way smaller cool. than he is, but that'd have been cool. I know, but people would have got the idea. I figured it out. Yeah, I'm, fl- I'm fluffy enough, you know. So. Yeah, yeah. God, that 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 guy's. A, well, he's a giant. Yeah, um, he drank a lot of beer. Uh, um, anyway, sorry, sorry, we skipped over, but th- I no, just had good. to show you because that we were on the topic of costumes. He just sent that to me at the same time, so I had to tell you about it. Nice. Anyways, pe- people listening, my roommate's costumes are dope. That's all you need to know. It is dope. It is pretty good. Watch the YouTube. You'll see it. Yeah. Um, so, like, I, I, I very much uh, 
we'll, we'll be like, all right, this year for Halloween, I'm going to do something really cool and I'll plan it. And I'll be like, all right, I'm going to do something awesome. I should do this. And then like later on, I'll be like, wait, what was the cool thing I was going to do? Halloween's <laughs> in like five minutes. I guess I'm just going to throw a sheet over my head and cut the eyes out and then be a ghost this year. So like, so like that happened a lot in college too. Yeah. So a lot of really really like my, my costumes were not great in college like oh I, I would be like oh man the party is tonight well let's go to spirit usa or halloween usa and whatever's left like so i was like a hippie one year because that's yeah. all i had um but the one i am kind of proud of i was a freshman for if, if for uh I, it was my senior year uh my first go of senior year in college and and I was a freshman, so I wore. Where, where keep going, keep going, keep going. So I wore uh, a central shirt, and I had a backpack, and like the lanyard that's given out to all the freshmen and everything. Oh, so that was I probably my that. best college, college one. I remember um, that. Yeah, yeah, that was good. So, one year, um, one year I went as um, um, uh, the uh, the guys and girls. <laughs> At Rick's, the bar that I worked at in East Lansing, we mm-hmm. swapped. So the girls dressed as guy bartenders and the guys dressed as girl bartenders. And you, I mean, you've been there for people listening that have never been there before. The girls always dressed in really tight shirts and short it's a shorts. Bar. Yeah, college bar, yeah, with like knee high socks and stuff. So my buddy Ian and I, uh, we were bartending the back bar that year, and we dressed up with balloons in our shirts and did like <laughs> nice. the shirts tied up and everything. It was a lot of fun, and uh, yeah, that that was a fun one too. I I typically really like Halloween and I like dressing up and stuff, but it's been like a couple years since I've I've done it. We talked about it in the last podcast. I was the uh, Matt Foley or whatever it was. Mm-hmm. That was my last one, yeah. but um. Yeah, I don't know. When I when I do do Halloween, I go all out. Um, and when I don't, I don't. So, yeah. I have I, uh do you remember when we worked at camp? Yeah. And it was I don't know if it was like 80s night or something like that. So we cut off the like these jeans and they were basically Daisy Dukes on us. Uh-huh. What was that wasn't it for like one of the women's camps or something like that? Or no, was it no, for actual camp? It was for act. I think it was maybe band camp, and they had like a dance or something, and it okay, was eighties yeah. theme or something like that. Okay, okay. Um, I still have those shorts, and yeah. a lot of my go-to, just like oh shit, I got a Halloween party tonight. Oh, man, I don't have a, I don't have a, a outfit. I don't have enough. I'm just going to put those shorts on and show up because this is like, I'm something <laughs> and what I wear. So they're basically just cut off jeans with Daisy Dukes and I'll throw like a flannel shirt on or something. Like, I don't know. I'm a, I'm a lumberjack. Yeah. It's really short shorts. <laughs> I'm a Dukes of Hazard lumberjack. That's what I, that's right. That's right. This oh isn't my, my normal God. attire. So it's, it's, it that's counts. amazing. That's amazing. Um, I remember one year Darren went as Dayman. That was really good. Another year that he went as – That was a good one. Oh, you were there that year. I was not there. You weren't I've there I've never that went year? to an East Lansing uh, Halloween party. <sighs> we always had our own thing out at, at Lambda Kai House. I know, but this was like – this was your the, the your last year of school. You didn't come – no, no, it was – no, it was Darren again. I don't remember what I did my last year at Central. You came out – a couple weeks later or something like that have. was when you guys played golf in the living room no that was well yeah yeah that was, was a couple weeks Darren. later yeah it was that my was... idea but <laughs> that was a couple weeks later but that was a good one um but yeah uh yeah halloween's dope i like halloween ha- what's your favorite candy what's up what's your favorite candy Ooh. If Snickers would pay us, that'd be my. If favorite. Snickers would pay us, it would be my favorite candy. I've eaten enough of them this year, and it's crazy. If you can see, the it's all in my face. Ones? For everybody that's watching, it's all in my face. It's all from Snickers. What? The peanut butter ones. The peanut butter ones are good. Yeah. God, gun to my head. What's my favorite candy? 
I mean, no one ever handed them out, but if someone handed out to me a whatchamacallit on, on Ooh, Halloween, whatchamacallit's are good. Whatchamacallit's great. I like... hundred grand, actually. When I was a kid, hundred grand. There we go. grand? Yeah, final answer. Final answer? Final answer. Man, I... My, my go-to, just because it's easy, easy to eat and it's good, you can find them anywhere, is peanut M&M's. But I don't feel like that's my for real favorite. Really? Like, peanut M&M's? I would say that's not my favorite, but that's You're my You're a go-to. serial killer. You know that, right? I'm a serial What? <laughs> that's the best M&M's out of all of them, I, by the way. No, it's not. It's peanut butter M&M's. Hands down. Those are second. Those are close second. Those are a very high first. Like, Those are close second. Like landslide first. Can, can we agree, though, that just regular plain M&M's are the worst? I mean... Out of all I mean, of them? yeah, if we're talking about all the M&M's, and yeah. Uh, the pretzel ones are really good. The crisp ones are really good, too. Yeah, I don't even yeah. know if they make them anymore, but I don't peanut butter ones are the best, man. You bite into those, and they just, it's it, it's so much it's, peanut butter on it. So where right. would you put the peanut ones? I Third? Below third? crispy? What yeah. Oh, my God. Below crispy? Anyways, but I don't know. My for real favorite candy might be, like... Like a warhead or something like that. You're a serial killer, bro. That's what it is. <laughs> you don't like warheads? You, you ever had uh, a warhead? Yeah, we used to have them all the time, man. And I'm missing taste buds oh. because of it. Hey, <laughs> see? Zeta hates warheads. <laughs> the best little podcast puppy in the world. You guys hear that? Zeta hates warheads. Come here. Come here. But let's also talk about a couple other things real quick. Right. So last week... Speaking of noises in podcasts, last week, Hooli uh, coughed. <laughs> on <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to bring that up, too. I'm really glad you bring, you brought it up. Last week, Hooli coughed on the podcast. <laughs> and he, <laughs> he said, <laughs> and, I, and I bring it up on there. I go, I go, oh, man, you got the sickness, too? He goes, well, yeah, but they can't hear it because I muted it. So what Hooli did was he was recording with his microphone, hit mute on the volume. <laughs> And thought that that was gonna stop the noise. <laughs> on on, on GarageBand, there's a button, there's there's a volume button with a, a cross through it. No, that's not a mute. <laughs> I laughed I, so hard when I when I went back and listened to that. Oh my god, it was I, great. I dude. did the same thing because I was like, all right, well, I gotta watch or listen to it, make sure you know, kind of kind of take notes and all that, yeah. and and we're going through, and then I hear. <coughs> and I was like, "Oh shit, that is that's not a mute button." And then I You're like, "Oh, it. they like, didn't oh, they didn't cool. hear I, it. I muted it." Yeah, they didn't so, hear it. Um, so guys, I don't know what the mute button yeah. is yet. I haven't figured that out. Um, I don't know well, if there is with this one. We also uh, it might be time for us to get a different software. I'm going to see if you can't use my um a. Adobe Audition okay. because that records a lot better. But um yeah we'll see. It it, we'll it this out. this doesn't concern you guys at home, okay? I'm sorry I brought you into this. That's okay. But you know, um Logic Pro would be great, but we just don't have the kind of cash flow for that. So Snickers, once again, if you guys want to for Dollar Shave Club or that's it Fruit, yeah. or Squarespace, I I see or, you guys sponsor you know, podcasts all Yeah, there. and Me Undies, you guys Sponsor, I think every podcast under the sun. Uh, every, so. Literally every single one. Yeah. Also, Squarespace, we use you. No? We do yes. use yeah, you. Yeah, we do use you. Yeah. So bring it on, baby. We'll take it. Um, Yeah. Uh, do you have any other topics you want to talk about? Because I, I have some other stuff too. But Yeah, go ahead. Go, go do your thing, man. Okay. So I was thinking about it this week, Cooley. You and I are – I thought about it because we talked about our video – that we did last week. We talked about our college party, right? Yep. Yep. The, the and, one that got taken down. Yeah. And we have done a bunch of other videos, a bunch of really weird ones that were always like on the spot kind of stuff. Like we did this one where we used the Leave it to Beaver soundtrack and Hooli goes and he makes this cracker sandwich. That's the exact <laughs> one I was thinking of. Acquired taste. <laughs> acquired taste. That's right. I forgot. Acquired. That's what we called oh it. Oh, my God. It's so but funny. it was called – we called it acquired taste. It was just this little sketch where the Leave it to Beaver – like the little whistling song it or whatever like it was. It took five minutes to do the whole yeah. thing. And we, we honestly wrote it driving home or maybe even in the kitchen or whatever it was. 
most of our sketches that we did, we wrote on the spot. Right there. Right, right there. there. That one, we did another one. So, like, basically. The milk and that, cookies. The milk and cookies one was another one I was thinking of. Do we, ha- do we have either of those? Um, The milk and cookies one, I think, is gone. No, Acquired taste we might have on the hard drive. I might have it. Okay. Which I need to. I'm not. I'm not using my my hard drive that I have right now anymore until I get a new one because I don't know how many more times it's going to let me open it. Um, open it that's without the best little podcast pup. That's right the there. best little podcast pup right there. He's just making sure everybody's doing great. Um, she yeah, work? she. Yeah, sorry. She's uh, offended. I'm just kidding. She doesn't care. But anyways, I thought about it. Okay, and then I thought about your. Uh, like you and I, we work really well together. Like I've worked with a lot of other people on create and stuff. Yeah. You and I work really well together and our stuff does pretty I good. I get, uh, I get that the, the FedEx thing didn't make a lot of sense. Like the ending of it. Yeah. And that, we that both kind of knew yeah. that. It, we both kind of okay. knew that. But, but the execution that we did for the whole rest of it, I thought was pretty, pretty well done for the resources that we had at that age. Yeah. Which was none. Which was none. I think we could do. <laughs> Really, really well moving forward if we do stuff. Um, so for those of you listening, Huli has sent me different uh, different s- short scripts or short stories and stuff it recently, and they're really, really good. Like, Huli has an awesome, awesome direction for writing and everything. Thank you. Now, if I'm going to critique them a little bit, they are a little clunky, but that's just because they were first – like. First round well, revisions, yeah, every, you know, first every draft. Every single one is first draft, yes. Every single one is first draft. So, like, you know, the 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 dialogue is a little clunky. But the, all, all the ideas that are there are just ridiculous. So what I'm saying right now is that Huli and I are going to start writing a little bit more together. We're going to start doing some more drafts of some stuff. And we're going to make some videos because it's going to be dope. And it will be on this channel that you're listening yep. to right now on YouTube, The Huli and Brian Show. Yep. So, just giving you guys a heads up. That's I'm excited for that, man. I, yeah. I, because I, I really had a lot of fun shooting videos, and and everyone at home, man, you all got a videos cameras on your phone. It's fun. Yeah. Just go out and shoot oh, some dude, stuff. it's super it's, fun. And tag us in it. Uh, we want to see it. Yeah, we do. Yeah, or uh, collaborate with us if you guys or have short stories, but you guys don't know how to film or something like that, dude. We're down. We love collaborating. We're it's fun. That's right. But yeah, we've always been. We've always been like. I mean, that's one of the reasons that we're doing this podcast is because we've always been people that like to create. We just haven't always executed it the best. But, um, but yeah, dude, it's just fun to do stuff. Like, it's fun to do anything. I mean, that, that goes without saying. And people are looking at my eyes right now on YouTube, and they're like, he's, he's starting to get a little tipsy. But maybe. No. <laughs> he's doing all right. He's doing no. all right. But, yeah, dude, I'm just saying, man, like, we – yeah. We just, we just need to do more stuff like this because it's dope. We're having fun doing it. I agree. And and yeah. I know we make make um, make jokes about Snickers giving us money and all that. Yeah. And, and w- w- I, I do this without money anyways because it's, oh, it's yeah. really fun. Oh, um, yeah, dude. If we make a couple bucks while doing it, th- th- that's cool too. But if, if, yeah. if we do ever – if like Snickers honestly does ever sponsor us, we'll try to do it like in a fun way to yeah. where it's – it's fun and exciting, but honestly, like, I'll wear I'll wear a Snickers shirt on here every week. If, if we don't make a single penny from any nope. of our videos or any of our podcasts, totally cool with that, man. Yeah, it's just it's just fun to be creative and to create. Oh hell yeah, and to get things out there, man. It's super yeah. fun. And it's it's just cool. It gives Huli and I a chance to uh, just basically hang out. You know, <laughs> exactly. I mean, honestly, because like this isn't that much different than sitting across from from him at a bar or something like that like we're doing the same thing not much yeah, ex- what's up i was gonna say except for a, a super scared puppy yeah but barking she, she's she's fantastic she's yeah. she's the best so um but yeah that was that was one thing i wanted to talk about because it's still we have fun doing this and honestly if we get one or two people to listen to it every week great that's awesome but like, I think we're. I think it's, dude. I think it's it's fun, dude. It's fun and it's good. I like. I, I listen back to it. I listen back to our last one. And I'm not trying to toot our own horn or anything like that. But I laughed. I, I, I laughed. I, I laughed too. And I usually hate my voice and I hate like looking at myself and and hearing myself. But no, I I've been enjoying it as well. It's been super fun. 
Wonderful, wonderful. Um, let's see. So let's uh, let's talk about our our. Uh, so as we've talked about in podcasts before, Huli and I really next year want to go to the Chinese theater for the opening or Austin, wherever like the big one is. No, because we want to do L.A. for the yeah. opening of Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I think it's only right that we do it. Um, the cast but is I, looking stellar. Dude, okay, so that's what I want to talk about because um, – This is the new Tarantino uh, movie about yes. uh, um, Charlie Manson. Yeah, and I don't know – Well, it, it was on our first podcast. It was on yeah, our first podcast that we talked I, about this. I don't it, – it's been a while. I, I it's don't on know one it of on our the... ones that we released, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure because I remember listening to it. Yeah, I think it's our first one or our second one. Either okay. way, anyways, we talk about it in one of the podcasts. But um, who was it? Uh, I was listening to, uh, once again, Dax Shepard's podcast again um, the other day. And I believe it was Lena Lena Dunham? Le- Leah Dunham? What's her name? The chick from Girls. Have you ever seen that show? I have not. Hooli, another show you got to get on top of, bro. Girls is called. Girls, yeah, it's a good one, man. Um, Lena, people at home are like, "You stupid son of a bee, Brian." Lena, Lena Dunham. Lena Dunham. Lena Dunham. Yeah. So, um, she is also in it, and she was in the show called Girls that she like wrote and produced, and it was on HBO. It was really, really good, really clever, and um. She's gonna be in it as one of the Manson girls. Okay. And she just she was talking about it a little bit, dropping like little little tiny hints, basically stuff that's already well known. But like, she was just talking about working with Brad Pitt a little bit and all those other guys. And ah oh, man, I'm so excited for that film to come out. Like they're still in the middle of filming it right now, so it's um it's gonna be a minute. It doesn't like we said. It doesn't come out until I think next October or September or October or something like 2019, that. 2019. Yeah, that's it right now. That's all we have. Is that? I think so. Um, wow, it's been a while since I looked at the cast. Holy shit! Are there um, even better ones? Who else? I'm just, is on there? Yeah, it's been a while, so I'm just gonna run through it. Yeah, Leonardo DiCaprio, Brad Pitt, Margot uh-huh. Robbie. Those were all. Those, we, we knew those. We knew yeah, those were like the three first ones that they came out with. Uh, Dakota Fanning, really? Al okay. Al Pacino, Damon okay. Lewis. Do you know who that is? Damon Lewis. No. He was. He was. Uh, uh, he was in Band of Brothers, and he was also um, in uh, the Showtime show about uh, terrorism with Claire Danes. Oh my God, I can't. But, but he was in that. <clears throat> he played okay. uh, Nicholas Brody in that. Homeland? Um, Is that what you're talking about? Homeland, yes. Yeah, yes, okay, he was in okay. Homeland. T- Tim Roth, who was in Reservoir Dogs. Yeah, yeah. Tim Roth is great, yeah. He's been in a um, bunch of Tarantino stuff. Yep. Uh, he's in Reservoir Hirsch. Dogs. He was... Really? From. from uh, I love Emil Hirsch, man. I think that that dude should be everyth- in everything. I really do. Yeah, he, so he he's in um, like Girl Next Door, Into yeah, the Wild. Into the um, Wild, yeah. Uh, I don't know how to say his last name, but Tim, Timothy Oldplant. Oldplant. He was also in in Girl Next Door. He was like the. Uh, oh, he was the guy that that uh, ran the other porno. Yes, the the thing. other porno. Yeah, company. yeah, yeah. Who like beat and, and, Emil Hirsch up when he's driving in the car with them? Exactly. Yeah, he's yeah, in, yeah. He's good. He's, he's good. He's too. been in some other stuff too. Uh, Luke Perry is okay. Wow. Um, Michael Madsen, who's also been he he was. Mr. I've been Blonde waiting for him to. He's he's Mr. Blonde. Dog. He's uh Bill's he's in brother. Louise. Bill's he's brother. Louise. Yeah, he's in oh he's in a lot of things, man. He was in Free Willy. Kurt Russell. Free Willy too. Kurt, Kurt Russell also in, uh, Death Proof, one of Tarantino's yep. movies. That's killer. A lot, a lot of people, man. Yeah. This is gonna be this is gonna be a crazy movie, yeah. man. I'm I'm looking forward to, uh, and then a lot of like kind of newer people that I don't know much about, but I'm. But apparently, I'm, someone does. If Tarantino knows does. about it, yeah. Um, that dude also like makes people's careers too. He's made a lot of people's careers. Tarantino. Yeah. He he's made and he's fixed a lot of people's careers. Fixed. I mean, Ooh. He, Let me hear this. Like. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, everyone. It's thunderstorming here in Michigan. Yeah. 
Come here. No? Too scared? But, um... Um... Uh, so... Fixed. I guess I yeah. kind of put you on the spot on that one, but you... No, 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 no. You're good. Like, uh, um... Like, I would say he probably fixed Bruce Willis and John Travolta in Pulp Fiction, would you say? John Travolta, I can see the argument. Bruce Willis was, like, on – what year was – I, I, I think Bruce, Bruce Willis, Willis was, like, was on, on his, his way, way up. Uh, I don't know if he was on his way up. Um, let, Pulp let me look Fiction? Up his, Pulp Fiction, yeah. Let me, let me look up his IMDb. Um. Yeah, you're going to have quick. to do that because, I mean. I don't think he was in I, Die Hard yet. I don't think Die Hard came out yet. But then he wasn't in anything before that then. I mean, he was. He was in a couple things here and there. But, like. Because Die Hard, he wasn't. Because Bruce Willis wasn't even, like, the first, second, or third choice in Die Hard, I don't think. Really? Like, I, 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 I'd have to look it up. So, no one. You know, don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure Bruce Willis was not the first choice of Die Hard. Okay, I mean, um, most movies, most movies, a lot of people weren't the first choice. Like, there's a lot of movies where people weren't the first choice. Oh, wait a minute, Die Hard came out in the '80s. He absolutely was. That's what I mean. Like, I was like, I. <laughs> Whoops. But like, okay, so, so, uh, Pulp Fiction came out. It was in the 90s. Was it like 93, 92 maybe? Um, Pulp Fiction was in 94. So, in between Pulp Fiction and Die Hard 2, he was in Look Who's Talking To, uh, The Bonfire. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's a voice in Look Who's Talking To. (laughs) Yeah. Mortal Thoughts, Hudson Hawk, Billy Bathgate, The Last Boy Scout, The Player. Last Last Boy Scout was a great movie. The Death Becomes Her, Loaded Weapon 1, Striking Distance. Oh, yeah. And then he was in, uh, uh, what's that movie where, like, they're all in the mansion and, like, they're all dead or something like that. And they're falling apart. The Emily Shaman movie? No, 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 no. It's, it's like a, it's kind of like a comedy. Like, and it's, it was done in the late 80s, early 90s. Not, I was married to a, an axe murderer. That's Mike Myers. Um, no, late, no. late 90s? Yeah. With uh, 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 Meryl Streep was in uh, it. Element? No. Element. Uh, Lift your head up. Let's see your face. Let's see your cute little face, Huli. There we go. I, I just meant, I like, forget we're on a like, thing. Look, yeah, on here. But anyways, I'm pretty sure Quentin Tarantino's fixed people's careers. Okay, okay. I mean, yeah. I guess you could argue that with a lot of people, but, um, yeah. But, like, Made, man, Christoph Waltz. That dude was big before, but he was big in a lot of little stuff when he was younger, like, in overseas and stuff. But, but man, I mean, in, Amer- okay, in, a, in America, they, they just ramped that dude up. And Glorious Bastards and oh, then yeah. uh, Django after that, whoo. That dude can be in anything he wants. Oh, fuck, yeah. Um <laughs> So I guess okay, maybe it was just John Travolta, who, who he kind of. Sorry, I put you on the spot back on that into one. Mainstream. You know, if you if you we sat here was long it? enough, there's a lot of other people you could say that he that he he did. You know, um, I mean, I guess one of the arguments what? could be uh, Steve Buscemi, maybe. But that might have been uh, also a made, not not a uh, fix. It would, yeah, I think it would have been more of a made. Made, yeah. I could be wrong, but yeah. what was was Face Off before or after Pulp Fiction? After. Face Off was after. Yeah, yeah. John Travolta was much older than that one. Yeah. I think Face Off was like ninety seven, and I think Pulp Fiction was like ninety four, ninety three. You know what I want to do? Yeah, I want to watch some some of John Woo's older stuff. <laughs> how older like like before like obviously before like mission impossible and face off and stuff yeah i want to watch some of his like old old hong Hong kong stuff like before hard boiled and when he was really using the doves (laughs) when he was really using the doves (laughs) yeah i I don't know man i i like john woo quite a bit i think i think his his movies are pretty good i like his story too i don't know 
Yeah, John Woo's John Woo's dope, man. I honestly, Mission Impossible Two is is one of my favorite Mission <laughs> Impossibles, or one of my favorite favorite movies. I fell in love with that movie. I saw that movie in theaters. God, I, so many times. I, I also saw that movie in theaters. I saw that movie in theaters in Michigan or in uh, Saginaw like twice. Then we went up north camping that year to Ta- Tawas, and I went saw it in Tawas. And oh yeah, dude, it, it was yeah, it was the best. I love that movie. I don't, I don't think I've seen a single Mission Impossible after Mission Impossible Two. So I watched the one with Philip Seymour Hoffman after he if he passed away because I was like I. I need to see that. I need to see everything that a dude's ever been in because he's yeah. he's one of my favorite actors of all time. He's, oh, he's incredible. Great. Yeah. I love him in Boogie Nights. Him in Boogie Nights is amazing and him in Almost Famous is amazing. Oh, uh, yeah. That's a good movie too. Where he picks up the one record and he's like, "Iggy Pop." Yeah. <laughs> Dude, he's he's amazing. He has one of the best lines and probably one of the most memorable lines in in that whole movie, which is uh what is it? Being cool. Oh, man. Yeah, you're going to look it up? Find out. I'm yeah, gonna look it yeah, up. Yeah, look it up because it's like the only thing, the only time you're actually being cool is when you're sharing being uncool with someone else or something like that. I can't remember exactly what the line is, but, but, um, yeah, it was, uh, <laughs> It's one of my favorite lines out of any movie ever, but I can't remember what it was. People uh, on YouTube are like, you guys are just looking up shit. We'll look up whatever we want, all right? You, yeah. you don't look up stuff. Um, the only true currency in this bankrupt world is what you share with someone when you're uncool. Wait, That's the that? line. The only true currency in this bankrupt world is what you share with someone when you're being uncool. Nice. Yeah. Or oh, share with someone is. that is uncool is. or whatever. Lester, so. Lester Bangs. Yeah, dude. That's a that's a that's an awesome name, by the way. Oh yeah, it is. Change my name to that right now. Um, Lester Bangs. <laughs> yeah, but um, um, I'm gonna be Dick Wolf. Who? There's a guy that I work with, and his name is Brock. No. Brogan, like Brogan ha- Hambridge or something like that. I'm like, that's pretty. Brogan that's pr- Hambridge. Brogan Hambridge. I'm like, that dude's pretty fucking dope sounding, man. I, I I dig that. So, yeah. Um, yeah. But um, what else you got, Huli? You got anything else this round? I might have to not have the TV on. No, you don't. This- you don't, because that white keeps popping up this whole time. As YouTube can see that, yeah. I and then you get to distra- long time Yeah, ago. yeah, you get distracted too. You're like a little fly. You might need another light. You might need another fill light because man, look at me though. I'm like sweaty and greasy. This is gross. Ugh. You look good, dude. I, you guys, I, this I, is our I, first time ever doing this, and I don't know if I'm a fan, but um, I I think I'm gonna be a fan once once we figure. We need to get some makeup artists in here. And yeah, well, I think what we really the, need to do yeah, is Snickers um, money. Coming yeah, once in. we get the Snickers money, man, we can just invest in some honestly some cheap. Not cheap, but like some decent, cheap cameras that we can like set it up, and we'll get this whole thing recorded, and it'll be great, and it'll be the best coast to Michigan's most podcast you will ever see. Best be the coast. Best. To mi- hey, do you remember Mrs. and Mrs. Miss the Internet? No. All right. Sorry, that fell flat right there. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh I, I don't know why i thought of i guess because i i liked uh whatever you just said the coast to michigan to the not coast or whatever <laughs> <laughs> the coast to and, uh, the michigan most or something i don't even remember i'm gonna have to listen to this tomorrow soup for yeah. the soul baby that's um, right but I don't, I don't, it doesn't even matter anymore. yeah <laughs> did you have uh, a good day everybody <laughs> yeah <laughs> no uh, <laughs> No, because do you remember? Oh, I gotta we, finish my beer before we get done. I'm not. We uh, oh, I got another beer. I gotta open too. Oh, you I'm are slacking, gonna... dude. I'm in a beer and a half. Day. I know. We, never mind. Um, we 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 might have said goodbye too early. Who knows? <laughs> um, what's your second beer? Uh, so the second beer, nothing, nothing too sexy, nothing too crazy. Uh, Sierra Nevada Tropical Torpedo IPA. Oh, dude, um, that's dope. I I, I like that I, one. 
I actually got to swig this one real quick. Yeah. I uh, I drank it a lot when I was in Hawaii last year. That's kind of where I found out about it. Uh, well, I mean, I found out about it right before I left for there because I just started my new job. And um, uh, people were selling it a lot. And, uh, yeah, no, no, no. It's uh, we, we drank a lot of it at Duke's. Shout out to Duke's and Waikiki there. There's a little bar. It's fucking dope. Duke's at Waikiki. Yeah. So one day, one when, day we're going to do a podcast from Waikiki, and it's going to be dope. When – when you went to Hawaii, mm-hmm. did you go mostly touristy areas, or did you go to any of the local areas? Or, or I, I've never been to Hawaii. I, I'm not because I'm sure there's like a super tourist area. And, yeah, uh, and like a, a locals is like night and day. So have I actually never talked to you about this, or just never on the podcast I've talked to you about this? Um, you, a little bit of both. Talk to me a little bit, a little bit of both. A little bit of both. Um. And I'm real good at forgetting, so I yeah. may I may have just forgot everything you said. I know you went to where, like, Jurassic Park and stuff were filmed. Okay, 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 okay. Um, Hold on. I'll talk about it. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, no, I'll talk about it really quick because uh, there were things I liked a lot about Waikiki, and there were things – or, sorry, there were things I liked a lot about Oahu, and there were things okay. I didn't like a lot, okay? So – um, we went with my girlfriend's parents and, uh, it was a family vacation before this one in Austin city limits. They do one every year. They go to Hawaii almost every year. Her, her parents are going to buy a place when they retire on Oahu and they're going to like Airbnb it out and everything. Um, can, can I be their adopted son? I uh, wonder why. Dude. I mean, honestly, I honestly think I, I told her, I was like, when we break up, we're, we still need to be friends because we're just going to have a big party at that place. I think it'd be a lot of fun. But anyways, right. so they were talking about it so when we were in Austin. It. Yeah. But so they always go and they always stay at Waikiki, uh, which is just outside of Honolulu. Like it's okay. it, it like, so you, the airport's in Honolulu. That's a big island, right? No, 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 no. So this is on the island of Oahu. You're thinking Maui. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. So, um, on the island of Oahu, there are a lot of – so island of Oahu, you land there. The airport there is Honolulu. Okay. okay? Right next to Honolulu is Waikiki, just to the okay. the east of it. Um, And they, like – they basically share a beach, you know? Like, you can walk from yeah. Waikiki. Like, it's a little bit of a drive if you're going on the streets and stuff, but it, it's – uh, um. anyways, Waikiki is, like, Vegas of Hawaii. Like there's Louis Vuitton shops and Tommy Bahama shops and okay. all these like crazy little shops and stuff like that and um um uh, uh so it's it, and it's very touristy like there's a lot of you know little bars and stuff like that so it's uh it's got all that but um but so we spent a lot of time there that's where our hotel was was in Waikiki and. You know the girlfriend's parents. They really love the the place. They really love the. They 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 spend a lot of time there. So they they have their hotel. They have their bar. They have all this stuff. You know, so it it was really cool. We did some surfing there, um, which was a lot of fun. Got to surf in Hawaii. Yeah, that will kick your ass, dude. Oh, it looks like just swimming out to the. And that's what it was. I never I never stood up. I never stood up. How could you? You'd be too tired. Huli, we have done every board sport. On uh, besides for windsurfing, which after yeah. regular surfing, fuck, <laughs> <laughs> surfing the hardest by far, dude, it, by far, Huli, by by far, man, it is it is almost impossible for a chubby. Kid. There's a reason those dudes are like shredded the f up, you know, like. What about Squid from Rocket Power? Well, yeah, he was dope though. You know, I don't think he did so well actually. Now that I think of <laughs> he, he, he did it, but the but the Hawaiian dude who worked at the at the restaurant who had the big longboard. Yep, and his name well, he was, was Hawaiian, so he doesn't count. Yeah, what Tito? was his name? Was his name Tito? Tito. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was Tito. Good job. Good job, dude. Uh, cheers. Good hey, yeah. Cheers. Good job. Nice. You guys couldn't hear. We cheers. <clears throat> But anyways, so I liked that, um, but my idea of a Hawaiian vacation was a little bit different. So okay, yeah. So when we did go do the Jurassic Park, um, yeah. if any of you guys have seen the movie, uh, what was it? What was the one where the where the dude from Workaholics and and Zac Efron? 
Mike and Dave need wedding dates. Yeah, 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 yeah. If any of you guys have seen that movie, there's a scene in it where they go and they do this um, ATV tour uh, where they're, like, going through the, the movie, like they, the Jurassic Park area. Yeah. We did that exact a- ATV tour. So we got on four wheelers and rode around and, like, the footprint from Godzilla was there. Jake and the Fat Man was filmed there. <laughs> uh, there was all kinds of stuff that was that was uh, filmed there, That's like a, a lot of st- one in my heart. <laughs> that one is, yeah. Um, George of the Jungle, uh, Mighty Joe Young, all kinds of stuff has been filmed there. And if, when yeah. you go there, like you look around, you're like, oh yeah, yeah. There's all this stuff we got this to see in every movie ever. Yeah, yeah. You're like, yeah. So uh, Hawaii Five O, a bunch of different stuff was filmed there. So we got, to, so we got. To, this was like towards the North Shore, and it's cool because it's really far away from Waikiki and all the city and stuff like that. So we get out there and, um, like we go to these little shops that are around this area, this little ranch and stuff like that. And there's all yeah. these chickens running around, all these locals. We go to these couple food trucks, and I'm like, man, I want to stay over here. Like I want to actually go to the North Shore where like pipeline is where all like the one of the best surfing spots in the world is over there. Kelly Slater goes there all the time. There's um, uh, my boss's uh, uncle in law, I guess is how you would say that lives there. And he's like, okay. so he used to own this house on the North shore and now it's the Volcom house. Like the Volcom oh, bought really? it from him. Yeah. yeah he's super yeah. rich, dude. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, awesome. yeah, n- yeah. He's like now, now uh, Volcom owns it. And it's a Volcom house. And they just have all their surfers stay there and they, they party it up. But I would, uh, Next time I go there, I would love to spend the whole time at North Shore. And North Shore is okay. where, like, um, uh, forgetting Sarah Marshall, Turtle Bay, that that hotel yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's more secluded. There's less people. There's more locals and stuff like that. Like, I would love to go rent an Airbnb over that way and then just, like, sit on the beach and do nothing and be, like, not distracted by anybody and no tourists and stuff. Yep. Like. We left the Jurassic Park thing and went back, and there's some homeless man, like, rolling in the street. And I'm like, that dude is on a lot of drugs. And the cops come, and he's just still rolling, trying to cross the yeah. crosswalk. <laughs> so, you know, yeah, Hawaii's – That's where I want to be. Yeah, Hawaii's cool, but, like, I, I – I, um, uh, yeah, Waikiki's awesome, and I love that trip that we had. But, um, yeah, I mean, I want a little bit less – we're simple people. Huli, we're simple people. We just like simple oh, things, man. Goddamn, we're simple. Yeah, so, like, I honestly want a beach with nothing else on there. I want a cooler full of beer, and that's it. Like, when you see those Corona that's commercials, all you need that's, all, that's what I want. I want a hammock and a, and a, and a beer, and that's it. <laughs> so, yeah, someday we'll go there, and then maybe we'll do a podcast there if Snickers sent us some goddamn money. I, I'd, be, I'd be down to go to Hawaii for yeah? sure. Okay. For sure. All right. Um. When it's, yeah, I want to go. <laughs> all right, all right, yeah. We'll have to, uh, uh, we'll have to plan something like that. I, I, even though it sounds super hard, I do really want to just try surfing. Just, just, just. Go ahead. You're yeah, yeah. That look like you can do it. But what? I'll hang out and drink beer. Out of me. No, 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 not at all. No, like if if I find out that we're going to Hawaii, as long yeah. as I get a good enough advance, I will work so hard to get in shape to to be able to surf. Like uh, my cardio and my swimming will be on point the next time I go there. I feel like I'm I was not a strong swimmer at all. What's up? Yeah, I'm you're str- you're you're just I can fine. swim. Like don't be yeah. wrong, I can swim, but but you're no lifeguard like me is what you're saying. I'd, I'd rather. See, the nice thing about snowboarding is you just you, you just, just go. stand up and then you then you go down. <laughs> There's a chair that pulls you to those waves. Exactly. Like I don't have to climb the hill. Like right, that's yeah. the equivalent of surfing. Like you have to climb the hill to get to. Yeah. It. Yeah. In snowboarding, you do you just sit, you just sit, do a shot of fireball real quick. I and know. Then you get off the chair and you just stand up and you just fucking go. No, and Wake, when you're wakeboarding, you just sit there and a yep. boat pulls you. It literally yeah. pulls you up. You, I was you do nothing. I was hammered the last time I went earlier this summer and out of shape, and and I still did just fine. Wakeboarding, <laughs> wakeboarding, yeah, yeah. It was, the boat pulls you. you. No, That's the boat pulls you. Yeah. So, yeah. Once uh once surfing gets that figured out, actually they did, and it's called the Kelly Slater Surf Ranch. Have you seen that? No, I haven't. It's down in Fresno. Um, do you know who Camera Jesus is? The photographer in Detroit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard of him. He, he, so he hangs around with Tony Hawk all the time. 
And Tony Hawk okay. flew him out to the surf ranch to hang out with him and Riley Hawk, his son. Mm-hmm. Just like last week or earlier this week or something like that. Riley Hawk's really good, by the way. He's he is, dude. I was really he surprised. Street, too. So I didn't even know He's about him. Skater. No, I didn't even know about him until this last week. And then he like he had him tagged in there. I was like, oh my god! I was like, I, last time I like last time I saw Tony Hawk's son, he was on cribs and he was he was like. 12 so yeah yeah he's no, like 20 he, he, something he's now like separate of what his dad does he yeah. does like street and stuff and, like, but he's, he's he's really good he's really good yeah i was seeing yeah. some of the tricks he did and he's he's pretty solid so um but um but yeah Julia, i mean we're we're sitting here about an hour 10 in right now i think uh i think this is solid for this week we're right on everyone um yeah as always, leave us a comment down below. If yeah. uh, tell us what you like, what you didn't like. We're still pretty new at this, so we're yeah. we're learning. We want to cater to you guys, right? And, so uh, yeah, it, it, yeah, about that. Like I would, um, um, we're not saying we want you to comment. Like most people want people to comment on their videos and stuff like that. I would, re- I really would just like to see if anyone is even enjoying this or whatever. Yeah, I really that, would. Like one all. comment or anything like. If you've made it this far in the video. And you you like it and want us to keep doing more? I mean, we will regardless if you say I mean, yes right, or no. Because we have fun doing. Yeah, because we have fun doing it. But um, regardless of what whatever you guys think, uh, yeah, just just drop us a little uh, a little thing, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Yeah, and uh, at Julian Brian Show on Instagram, you can let us know what what you like yeah. on there, and or at Julian like, and Brian on Twitter. Yeah, I probably won't check that. I'm gonna have to start using that more for us. But we'll, we'll try. We'll, we'll try. We'll try. We'll try. Um, but thanks, everyone. We yeah. Appreciate it. Love you all. We'll see you next week. Love you guys. See you next week. Thank you. Woo.